Hi, I'm Viola from 3D Render and Beyond. Today I would like to talk about Metalness Workflow in V-Ray 5 for Cinema 4D. We will see a new method to create metal shaders. This method comes from PBR or Physical Based Rendering Workflows. It isn't better than other methods, it is simply more useful in cases where resources are limited like with game engines. One of the main differences between traditional methods that are still based on physics and PBR workflow is how reflections are described. With PBR, materials are divided in two categories, conductors and dielectrics. Conductors are metal shaders, while the rest of shaders are dielectrics. And it is exactly this metalness parameter that creates the difference between these two categories. In order to understand the difference with this new method, let's take a step back and see how to quickly create a traditional metal shader. Like usual, I will use my virtual set that recreates my real set where I study shaders. Many of you already know how to create basic metal shaders. Use a black diffused color, a high index of refraction, and a color for the reflection. In this case, I just copied a color from another shader. Expert users will be used to refining these settings by following physical values for the shader. This is possible by using data from websites like refractiveindex.info. Based on the info given by this website, by using the wavelengths of the components R, G, and B, you will be able to draw the shader's falloff curves. I won't go in depth with the description of this method. As you can imagine, it is very complex even though it will guarantee very satisfying results. We are lucky enough that plugins and OSL shaders are available to automate this whole process. You will only need to add refractive index and extinction coefficient of every shader. The results you will obtain with this method are flawless, but I find that the, the metalness method is a lot simpler and easier to use. By using given data in a very short time, you will obtain perfect metals that are based on physics. Blado, that is the head developer of V-Ray, has created an extremely useful table with ready-to-use data for all pure me metals and has also given us the code used to extract data from the website refractiveindex.info and make them usable for the metalness workflow. Enough theory for now, let's see how we can create a metal using this workflow. Let's open the table we saw before and choose a gold shader. Insert the RGB component in the diffuse channel. Leave the specular color to white. Ideally, the metalness value should be 1 for conductors and 0 for dielectric shaders. Insert the IOR calculated by Vlado. Done. In just a few seconds, your shader is ready and is also physically correct. At a first glance, the result could look like something that could be obtained with a basic workflow. But if we compare them, you can see that behavior is very different on the glazing angles. The metalness workflow is far more accurate. This will obviously just give you the metal base, but you will be able to add various effects like glossiness,
and isotropy and others if necessary. Because this workflow allows it, you will also be able to create composite shaders without the need of using blend material. Ideally, the parameter should be set to 1 for conductors and 0 for dielectrics, but you could also use a grayscale map for those values where white is 1 and black is 0. Let's take for example a painted metal with scratches, where you can see the metal that is underneath. You will just need to add a map in order to distinguish the behavior between the metal and the dielectric material. As always, I would like to remind you that what you have seen is just an intro to the new tools of V-Ray 5. So much more can be done with this software. Lots of people have been requesting shaders for V-Ray 5 for Cinema 4D, so we are creating a huge shader collection and already started with the metals. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our other social media channels so that you will never miss a new tutorial or product. Thank you for watching.